welcome back to Reactions That Rock. I am Seth, your host and a former rock and roll radio DJ turned YouTube sensation or something like that. Anyway, I'm back with another reaction video to a artist, an artist, let me get that right, an artist I have never listened to whatsoever. I've seen the name around. Uh, I don't know what it means, but... Yeah, I come from the rock world where nobody has a real name anyway. So, today I'm actually going to react and review Doja Cat. I'm hoping I said that right. Is it Doja? Do Doja? Doja Cat. Uh, the song's called Paint the Town Red. We're going to be jumping into that in just a minute. Oh, maybe I should have put the red light on. Nah, that's too, that's too bougie. Anyway, Doja Cat, Paint the Town Red. I know nothing about this song, but... When I looked it up, I saw that there was a clean version and a not-so-clean version. And folks, we're doing the clean version. Because I'm an old man. I just use the word folks. So, well, let's keep it clean. Um, also, I don't know what di the dirty version, the unclean, the album version sounds like. Uh, I'm a white guy. I gotta stay away from words that we shouldn't be anywhere remotely close to, if you know what I mean. So, we're gonna do... Doja Cat, the clean version of Paint the Town Red. We're going to jump into that in just a minute. But first, I have to thank our sponsors, Caliber Coffee Company, a veteran-owned, American-based coffee company. They make the roasted beans. They make the K-Cups. They're absolutely delicious. I'm hooked on the 300 Blackout right now. That is their strongest coffee. It's so good, and it doesn't have that kind of bitter, burnt coffee aftertaste. I'm loving it. Through the end of October, that is 11.59 on the 31st of this month, they are going to throw in a free bag of coffee with any purchase. So all you got to do is click the link down below, check them out, make any purchase whatsoever, and they're going to toss in a bag of coffee. You don't need a promo code. You don't need to drop anybody's name. You don't need anything. The link knows it all. That free bag will be in there when it gets to your door. I promise you, you got to check them out. It's great coffee. It's veteran-owned, it's fantastic, and I may have had a cup or two very recently. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. Doja Cat, Paint the Town Red, clean! So far, it's kind of jazzy. I dig it. Yeah, trick. I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care. I paint the town red. Trick. I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care. I paint the town red. Mm, she the devil. She bad little. She a rebel. She be All right, I'm going to stop this right here real quick and say, when I started doing this, I was kind of afraid that R&B, rap, this type of music, I don't I don't like pigeonholing music into a particular genre, um, but I had a little bit of a fear that I was going to hate everything I played from basically the Billboard Hot 100. Um, I'm willing to bet that most of the music here is digitally produced that it's you know it's a it's a computer system it's not you know a brass orchestra just going away at it but i don't hate it and that is honestly the biggest surprise so far for me uh since i started this channel a whole two and a half videos ago so i don't hate it um it kind of and i'm gonna show what little i know about r b and everything um, and again, go ahead and tell me I'm an idiot. I'll be the first person to claim ignorance on just about anything that isn't rock and roll and heavy metal. So I don't know anything, but to me, it kind of has a, um, like a Missy Elliott kind of feel like that. You can tell Doja Cat, real birth name. I'm sure it's on her birth certificate. No, you can tell Doja Cat actually has musical chops. Uh, she's not like a hired singer. I don't know if she writes her own stuff. I haven't done a deep dive yet. But so far, um, this is better than I expected. Mm. 
Okay, I don't know what half of this means, um, but again, I like it. I don't, I don't understand modern slang. Again, I'm an old guy. Look at me. I got wrinkles. I got, I'm, I'm a mess. I'll be the first to admit it. But um, <laughs> I like it, and it's got a good flow. Um, I, I like when artists can actually make an effort to rhyme words that don't naturally rhyme. Uh, Eminem broke the ground on that, broke the mold, broke whatever you break when you do something. Um, by taking words that would never rhyme in the English language and making it work. And there's some of that that wordplay here, and I, I, I dig it. And when I'm reading what she is singing and sounding it out in my head, it's... Uh, I'm impressed. It's she's making it flow, and uh, I, I kind of dig it, man. I kind of dig it. I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care. I paint the town red. I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care. I paint the town red. stuck in my head for like a month um yeah it's uh i'm gonna be running around the house driving everybody nuts trick yeah it's just it's gonna happen uh, i'm gonna be calling everybody tricks in the world i'm gonna bump into people somebody's gonna step in front of me at the supermarket tomorrow morning and i'm gonna be like trick ah it's gonna be stuck in my head it's gonna be really really stuck in my head i'm happy i played the clean version um i uh I think if we just had some 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 B's and some some S's in there uh, that that didn't make it out into this video, which is probably a good thing. Um, I don't really need to explain that one to you. Um, me, let's go, let's go musically first. The music itself is um, very repetitive, but 
again, I expect that from the genre, and it just kind of drives. I've mentioned before that I like a driving song, a song that like moves forward. And even though that was just kind of a looped uh, beat, um, I I dug it, and it was it was upbeat. Um, when you have music that has a lot of flat notes in it, or music that ten, that generally starts on a high note and walks down the scales, it can be kind of slow and depressing. Um, but this stayed upbeat, and even though it was the same thing looped over and over again, uh, the music was solid. Um, again, it's probably digitally produced um, on just uh, you know somebody's DAW software, but I I dig it. It was good. It was solid. It wasn't too overpowering. It didn't like overpower the lyrics. It didn't get in the way of the song. Uh, and, and it kept the song moving forward, so definitely a plus there. The lyrics themselves. Um, again, I'm an old man with a very, very, very basic vernacular. Um, I'm even surprised that the word vernacular is in my vernacular. But I can tell what was being said, even if I'm not hip with all the slang. So I I, I know what's going on there. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it does sound like she's referring to herself in the third person a few times, but uh, I I dig it, and I like songs that are like, you know, it's it's kind of like, I come from the rock and roll world, uh, I've said that a thousand times, but rock and roll is huge on self-confidence and ego, uh, unabridged, unaltered, unadulterated ego drives rock and roll, and it seems to be the same for... R&B, uh, I don't think that classifies as rap. Um, again, I don't like putting logos and or, uh, labels on things. Um, I, I, it sounds like she probably can rap quite well, um, given the way she had the flow and the way she handled the language um, and made the words rhyme that don't normally rhyme and kind of cut the flow in. When her, the lyrics had extra syllables um, compared to the lines above it or below it, they just kind of flowed right in. Um, so credit where credit is due. Uh, it's like listening to water. She just fit where it needed to be. It was fantastic. I went into this expecting to very, very much hate it. Uh, I thought I was going to probably tear the song apart. And instead, I really enjoyed it. I'm probably not going to run out and uh, download all her tunes or buy the CD or whatever it is us old dudes do. But um, I I enjoyed it. It was uh, if that came on the radio uh, in my car, I would probably not flip the uh, flip the channel, which is kind of a solid compliment from a guy who used to sit in a little booth and spin out fourteen rock and roll songs an hour for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, I've probably sat there and listened to some of the same songs every forty five minutes for the life of me there are songs i could never listen to again and i'm talking songs in the rock genre that are great songs that i'll never listen to them again or they come on and i'm just i can't deal with it uh but this this has won me over i am i've, I've made a, a mental note here and i'm gonna do this when i'm done with this uh reaction i'm going to look up more of her stuff and possibly throw some more doja cat in in the next few weeks um or at least keep a um, tabs on maybe what new songs are being dropped, what new singles are hitting radio, because um, that is what the music game is. It's all about dropping singles on the radio and then loading them up on Spotify and everywhere else. But I'm going to keep an eye on this and see maybe what comes next after this, the next release, and we'll revisit it and see if it holds up, because honestly, I thought I was going to hate it, and I'm sitting here right now telling you that that's... The, the, the old Siskel and Ebert two thumbs up right there. And speaking of these thumbs, if you've liked this reaction, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you hated this reaction, also give me a thumbs up. If you like the song but hate me, give it a thumbs up. If you love me but hate the song, give it a thumbs up. If you are completely indifferent and just do not care one way or the other and you're just surprised you made it this far, hey, guess what? Give it a thumbs up. And... Go ahead, leave comments, tell me what you thought of the song, what you think of my reaction, or if there's a song I definitely need to check out. Stick that right there below. 
And if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'm going to try to bang out two, three, four, six, ten videos a week. I don't really know what we're going to hit, but there is a whole lot of music in this little computer that I have never heard before, and we are going to fire it up, and we are going to talk about it. And until we do, rock and roll!